Jordan Ham joins us now. All things recruiting with Letter of Intent Day behind us. It's now time to look ahead to next year's class. The 22s, the 23s are getting offers, and even some 24s. Recruiting never stops on the high school level in our great state. All right, partner, what's on the top of your board today you want to jump into? Yeah, a lot of guys, as you said, from multiple classes getting offers from Pac-12 programs. Demond Williams continuing his hot recruiting streak right now. 2024 Basha quarterback already has a couple of Pac-12 offers as another one for, from Colorado. We've seen Colorado come into the state, recruit Brendan Rice, another Southeast Valley, a Chandler guy. Uh, they, and he's been doing really well up in Boulder. Now they're following suit with Demond Williams. Ben Morrison over at Brophy, the talented defensive back, gets an offer from UCLA. His teammate, Zach Swanson, gets an offer from USC. So they could be potentially teammates turn cross town rivals from a couple big Pac-12 programs. Elijah Page, this is an intriguing one. Offensive lineman over at Pinnacle 2023. Uh, he adds an offer from Arizona. Uh, and you see a lot of size out of him. Um, and you're seeing him continue to develop. They uh, Pinnacle usually does a pretty good job developing their offensive linemen as they go through their system. And then Booby Santiago, a, a pretty cool story over at Horizon. He moved from New York, kind of flew a little bit under the radar, entering the season, but put up some really good numbers. We're seeing offers from Arizona, San Diego State, Yale. So he's another one that we're going to want to keep an eye on. I want to go back on Demond Williams because Basha has been a program that has been up and down, but is usually in the shadows. I shouldn't say usually, always in the shadows between Chandler and Hamilton job that coach McDonald though is doing Jordan this is not just the quarterback over there from what I'm hearing Basha is really becoming a destination for some recruiters yeah and there have been some really good athletes over the past couple of years you think of Micah Harper the defensive back that's over at BYU now the exciting thing about this program is you have a really good head coach in place and then you have some really young talent you have Demond Williams there you have Miles Lockhart James Durand Wyatt Milkovich all of these guys have multiple years ahead of them so they're going to continue to develop they're going to continue to get recruited but they have so much potential ahead of them that it's going to be really exciting to see what this program can do next year, two years from now, even three years from now. San Diego State comes in and they throw offers all over the place. The Aztecs trying to go after some big game hunting here. Yeah, and they have done that over the years. It seems like every class, they get one or two guys that might have flown under the radar a little bit on the recruiting front, but really good football players. We already mentioned Booby Santiago. Russell Davis adds an offer from San Diego State, the talented uh, defensive end over at Hamilton. Lance Holtzclaw, a guy I'm really excited about, Desert Ridge. He's played outside linebacker. He's played defensive end. He can play some tight end as well. I got to see him on the seven-on-seven seven circuit, circuit this last weekend and he was so athletic offers from Boston College uh, Arizona San Diego State and now Idaho and then Michael Masunas the tight end over at Hamilton also adds an offer from the Mountain West program before I get you out of here any other notables you want to throw out this week yeah, Nason Coleman, a guy over at Chandler, uh, he wasn't talked about much this past year because he had a knee injury, uh, ended his season really before it got going. He adds two offers uh, from some Ivy Leagues, Yale and Dartmouth. Caden Cloud and Donovan Guyton, a couple of playmakers for Williamsfield, add offers from Air Force. And then Malaki Taasi, the defensive lineman for Mountain View. This guy just lived in the backfield last year. He adds his first D1 offer from Southern Utah. That's Jordan Ham. He knows all, he tells all every week on the recruiting roundup.